everybody. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Craig. I work in grass men's embroidery department and I do a bit of filming in my spare time. And today I am out on Speedy Farms where they have recently, in the past two years, changed over from the milking parlor to two robots. And I'm here to film all the changes that have been made as I have made a few clips back two years ago of what it was like then and what it's like I'm gonna film what's happened now. So a bit more about Speedy Farms. They are milking around 110 to 120 cows at peak times. Each robot milks around 70 cows in one day. There are 150 following cattle, including their calves, heifers and dry cows. In the summer, the cows strip graze 80 to 90 acres through the graze gate. The cows calve all year round to keep a steady flow on each robot. So to start with the big changes, I'm in where the old milking parlor used to be, as you can see here's the old wall. The other side of the wall has been knocked down and turned into where the calves that have come out of the hutches now live. They get fed here. On down from where the calves are, um, here is where the cows that are coming close to calving come. So if they need any assistance, they are easily accessed and can be helped out if they need to be. Here's the foot pair and crush. The calves actually used to be in crates along this wall, but they have since been moved outside into bigger hutches. So here are the new calf hutches, they have four calf crates in them and to my knowledge they're a lot easier cleaned out and calves get a lot more air around outside so they're less likely to end up with ammonia. Here is the new shed where the two robots are housed. There's a cow in getting milked in it. At the start the cows were reluctant to go in and it took a lot of time to get them going and ready. But now you can see it's just the cows are relaxed. The cows being relaxed is one of many advantages to robots. The main ones are the robots detect heat so that the farmer knows when the cow needs to be served. The cell count, butter fat, protein is measured for each cow and can be displayed on the computers. The cows can milk between two and five times a day depending on the cow's yield more flexible times for the farmer as there's no set time to be on the farm or no set time to be at home so they're not stuck to daily milking times. Cows come out the robot 
through here and through the footpath or if a car needs to separate it for some reason they will be go down that way through those corridors and into the separation pen over here if they need looked at or any attention needed to them they'll get what they need I'm in the robot the Lely Discovery is scraping flat out most of the time must be charging at the minute 